Dr. Celestin Lingdo, Unoyalam Kamigalaya British Congress Committee, Ulong Banapdenki Mat Kular Election Jongkahi, Kabakong San Kade Ban Kentil Yakajing Yok Pisa Kajala. Ulong Banalor Kinikamat Kakam Kabe Day, but Kakam Jongkai Pertheru, Kande Kawe Nalor Kakam Yok Kam Yok Jam Kisamla. The main issue that our manifesto is focusing on is how to improve the revenue of the state. When we talk of running a government, we can give an example of running a household. For the household to be sufficient, we need funds. So in our manifesto, we have decided that the moment the Congress comes to power, all leakages when it comes to revenue will be blocked. And the revenue that is supposed to come through tourism, that also will have a special committee. If we have to study the examples of other states like Sikkim, or if we have to study the example of Bhutan, where tourism really benefits the local people, unlike what is happening now in Meghalaya, where every tourist who comes, the tourist vehicle itself is hired from Assam, the food itself they pack from Assam. So all that we get is only the garbage that is left behind. So the Congress party will look into it and convert the tourism potential of the state into a real revenue generating activity for the people. Then the next one that we concentrate is the unemployment. So when we talk of unemployment, the youths are the main <coughs> target group that we plan to help. So through entrepreneurship programs, through hand-holding programs, instead of wasting money in so many activities like festivals, this and that, we can utilize those funds and redirect them into helping our youths to stand on their own feet by starting maybe small-scale industries or cottage industries. By hand-holding them, we can always create employment for them. Also, the issues of delay in filling up vacant posts in the government. In the recent past, we have seen how the youths who have participated in the written test, physical test for the enrollment in the police department, Till now, nothing has happened. So, the Congress party will take care that these things will be done in record time, in a short time. All the vacant posts that are lying, we will fill up. Then, the issue of women empowerment. We have seen so many schemes that have been doled out by the present government. Too late and too little. The Congress, when, if it forms the next government, all the schemes that are meant to be given to help the women, to help the youth, will be done in time, not late. For example, one of my friends has told that if the piglets were distributed two years ago, by now, those beneficiaries would have had 10 to 15 piglets out of those. But giving out things just before the election, this is just a wasteful expenditure of public money. So these are the main agenda which the manifesto will dwell on. What about the issue of IAP? <coughs> See, the issue of IAP also is in the agenda, but then ILP is also a subject which has to be agreed on by the central government. If ILP can be issued by the government of Meghalaya, I think the Congress government would have done it much earlier. So, sincerely, we will look into it. In fact, the previous government has passed a resolution in the Assembly. Even the present government has passed a resolution, but Till now, we have not been able to convince the central government. Yeah, as I said in the beginning, all the revenue leakages will be blocked. And how we are going to do that is we will be using the help of technology. So any payment that is to be given towards the government will always be digitized. 
So that is one of the agenda that the Congress will install once the government is formed. Ulaang baka in a line permit kadan bat kasorkar India nray ompat la ban pen ko ngu ban yok pen tray kam yaka halor kamat ban wan rung ker tlep kibrio na bar jella u Dr Celestine Ulaang kasorkar Congress menshua kala thaw yaka MRSSE nray ko sorkar menta kam pen tray kam satya. See the issue of influx. In fact, in the previous government where I was an MLA, we have passed that bill, which is an act for the Meghalaya Resident Safety and uh, the full name I cannot remember now. M M R S A Meghalaya Safety the residents of yeah, yeah. that act has been passed. It is only left to be implemented, which this present government is not willing to do. So if that act is implemented, the issue of influx will automatically be solved.